So the scaffolding's been assembled and the first thing we wanted to do was to take down the tail. And that starts with the little chevron bones that are underneath the tail vertebra. Then we start with the whiplash, the very end of the tail, and start to disconnect that. We gradually move up the tail in sections, hopefully being able to unthread the vertebra. As with all good planning, you can think about every eventuality, but when you actually start to do something in practice, it doesn't always turn out how you would hope. These three are actually resined on to this. We're going to hacksaw through, and then we can take all of this off at once. Once we've finished with the tail, we then go to the front of Dippy and we take the skull off and then each of the neck vertebra going back. Then we get to the middle section where all the scaffolding is and we will take the shoulder blades and the sternum, part of the pelvis and the ribs. We will also be cleaning and condition reporting each of the pieces as they come down and then they will start to pack them. So this is all going on. So there's in fact a team of eight of us working pretty much full time on this project. So we're left really with the four limbs and part of the pelvis called the ilium. And that's a really massive structure and we will have to have special cranes to lift that up. So I am scanning the pelvis region, or the ilium, of the dinosaur here. What we're doing is trying to capture the surface data in case of accident, just for reporting sake. Also, uh, we can use it for modeling later on. And it's accurate down to millimeter levels, so we can use it for all sorts of different information.